when I was little I wanted to be a pirate. And I think I wanted to be a pirate because I wanted to explore the world. Working in Svalbard gives me that freedom and exploration. Everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, there's something new to discover. But the Arctic is warming three times as fast as the rest of the planet. The ecosystem here is very sensitive to change. Everything is happening so fast right now for climate change. I've been living here for the last, what, five years? And I can see the changes every season. This environment is quite extreme in many senses. You have a really long dark season, then you have the same really long with the midnight sun. It's almost at the North Pole and it's open tundra, so no trees, permafrost in the ground, and then glaciers, sea ice. It's really fascinating. I was born in Longyearbyen in 1963. Longyearbyen is, is a special place because it's, it's obviously far north. It's a north pole city. We're very close to the North Pole, but it's fully equipped with everything one needs. And then you have the amazing nature just outside the door. People really want to make the most out of living up here. And when you combine that with also being able to just walk out in the nature and have the complete darkness and the northern lights or dramatic mountains. Well, you got a nice package and you don't miss the traffic either. You have to live with the season and you have to take advantage of what every season offers you. Especially during the dark winter, the, the weather can be extremely harsh and it's almost unbelievable that somebody can actually live here. But we can. <laughs> Living in Svalbard, you come here for the first time and you stay here for years. And that's how it happens for most of the people who came here. It's quiet and uh, fascinating and full of adventure. Visitors that come to Svalbard want to see the beautiful Arctic. They want to see the pristine nature. We have a duty to actually make it true. Oh,